All right. I'm gonna do a little video here in a minute about forklift. But this is the forklift LP tank that the valve decided to stay on. When you opened it, it went full on and it couldn't do anything about it. So I had to let mother nature absorb the liquefied petroleum. But look at that second thing, how frozen it was. I was grabbing that with my bare hands and moving it back and forth and it was cold, frostbite cold for a while when I was first figured it out this morning. So in the meantime, we had to go get another LP tank filled up. And aside from the fact that the LP tank started to leak upon itself, this is my little Clark fork forklift. This is, uh, I think, a 60s vintage with that chrome intakes there on both sides. Went to start it up and the battery was flat. Flat. I'll show you the battery that comes that you're supposed to put on these things. These long, skinny batteries. This one came from Napa. And I think it was close to 300 bucks when I bought it. And you can see that date on there. It's 21. Forklift doesn't get used that much. So if you, unless you have it on a battery maintainer or charging our regular basers or use it, they don't last very long. So we're trying to bring this one back to life just for fun. But we did a little forklift hack, thanks to a friend of mine who mentioned this to me, that he did on his forklift. He went out and found a battery of similar width and but shorter same kind of power um, but doesn't cost almost three hundred dollars it just cost over two hundred dollars so we modified the battery tray we did shortened it welded on a piece right here to keep the battery in place look at that little tool tray in the back now look at that that's so cute but um anyways and it works and uh so if somebody if you got one of these forklifts with a similar battery and you need to get a battery and you don't have access to one maybe you don't have a nap or maybe you just don't want to spend 300 and you have one of these batteries around that's narrow enough to fit in the space we had to cut this out here in order to let fit into the stock tray and then we welded i welded a piece back on here to keep it in so that's another option for you guys with these uh, little clark forklifts or any forklift because the one that my friend has is that a clark <laughs> he's not saying but it's something similar so anyways um that's what we did to to get the forklifts back up got my aluminum propane tank filled that's a whole nother story for well, that's a whole nother story and uh and uh yeah so we're back forklifting so if you, if you need to do this type of thing keep this in mind guys if you like this kind of stuff like share subscribe we will talk to you later see ya oh there's a dirty hand